the message of the power of God. And I told you yesterday, when Jesus was walking on the earth, he was dealing with demons, dealing with sicknesses. And Satan was angry. That is not your fault. It's because God put an anointing on your life. <laughs> Acts 10, 38, he said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. So Satan said, it's because God has put a power on your life. That's why you are doing what you are doing. But we will get you one day. So they planned to see that Jesus will be killed. Meanwhile, what they don't know is that you can't kill him. Even his death was a commandment. He said, this commandment have I received of my father. I have the power to lay down my life and to take it up again. But Satan was not aware. He thought if we kill him, casting out devils will stop. And so they manipulated and set him up for him to be killed. And Jesus cooperated with them as though they could kill him. Meanwhile, he could not be killed. He can only lay down his life because he's doing the will of the Father. And when he was on the cross, they thought they had done it all. They thought they had won. It was on the cross that the battle took place. The Bible said in Colossians 2.14 that having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a public show of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Because the devil didn't understand the nature of the fight. A brother was healed yesterday. He said he was involved in a fight and the, his shoulder was pulled out for 25 years. Before you fight, find out the nature of the battle. Before you go with a knife to a battle where they are using bazooka. The devil didn't understand. He thought the fight was a punching fight. He didn't know that the way the first man lost was by rebellion. So the way the last man will win is by surrender. So he thought the fight was fighting. So when he came, Jesus surrendered. He thought it was weakness. He didn't know that was where the victory was. And the moment he surrendered, the power of heaven was activated. And immediately he lost out. So the cross and the gospel became a message of power. But you see, like I told you on the crusade ground, Jesus did not just defeat the devil on the cross. He also defeated every prince, every demon, because they went and locked him in hell and carried the key and said, now we will keep you here. And Jesus waited. They invited all the demons from everywhere. International demon, global demon, all the demons from the second heaven, they all showed up and said, now we will keep him here forever and ever. When all of them gathered, suddenly Jesus rose up. And when he rose up, he disarmed all of them and collected the key of Hades. He collected it. And when he came out from the grave, he told them, I now have the key of hell. So Jesus came out and locked them there. And that was not all the power he demonstrated. After he collected the key of hell, death now showed up and said, but now I have authority over you. He said, no, you don't have authority over me. I came into you. I'm going out. I'm the one who have authority over you. Because Romans chapter 1, verse 3 and 4 said, Jesus was manifested in the flesh as the seed of David, but proven to be the son of God by power, through the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. So even death could not hold him captive. He disarmed death and still collected the key of death. And when he showed up from the grave, he came with two keys, the key of hell and the key of death. So the gospel therefore is a a message of the absolute power of God demonstrated over Satan and demonstrated over death. So anybody who understands the gospel is inaugurated into power because it's a message of power. Why do you think we go to cast out devils? Because we know that the environment we are living from now is a realm beyond the grave. We know that the environment we are living from now is a realm beyond the reach of Satan. So when we talk, he has no choice but to obey. But you see, you will not have that faith until you understand the gospel. You were not born again before the cross. You were born again after the resurrection. And so you came into this league of champions when the whole work was done. Even our warfare with the devil now is not a fight to win. It's a fight insisting on our victory. We know we have won and we will not let you deceive us as though we have not won. That's the nature of fight we are fighting now. I know I'm a victor. I know I'm superior to you. I am more than a conqueror because the conqueror was the one who fought you. 
I came to receive the crown and there's nothing you can do about it. So we insist and take hold of our victory. The gospel is a message of power. This is why Romans 1 16 Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It's the power of God unto salvation. So the idea behind death, burial, and resurrection is to show you power. That Jesus has power over the grave. That Jesus has power over Satan. So when you hear that he rose from the dead, it's a testimony of power beyond the grave.